On November 9th, astronomers captured what might be the most extraordinary images of 3i Atlas jet jets of material stretching millions of kilometers into space. But here's what nobody's telling you. The math behind these images doesn't work. And I mean it literally doesn't add up. This object appears to be losing more material than it physically weighs. Which means either our measurements are catastrophically wrong, or something truly unprecedented is happening right before our eyes. I'm going to walk you through exactly why scientists are puzzled, what Avi Loeb's calculations reveal, and why the most likely explanation is actually the most disappointing one for anyone hoping this was something extraordinary. Let's start with what we're actually seeing. The November 9th images show jets stretching in multiple directions, some pointing toward the sun, others pointing away. The jets aimed at the sun extend roughly 1 million kilometers into space. The jets pointing away stretch almost 3 million kilometers. To put that in perspective, the distance from Earth to the moon is about 400,000 kilometers. These jets are seven times that distance. What makes this even more remarkable is the time scale. Back in July, the Hubble Space Telescope observed 3i Atlas and detected a small glowing cloud around it, nothing particularly unusual for a comet. These new jets captured in November are 3,000 times bigger than what Hubble saw just four months ago. 3,000 times larger in a matter of months is genuinely extraordinary. Now here's why the jets pointing toward the sun are significant. Normal comets typically have one main tail that points away from the sun. This happens because of solar wind, a constant stream of charged particles flowing outward from the sun at over 800,000 miles per hour, acting like a cosmic leaf blower, pushing gas and dust backward. So when you see jets pointing toward the sun, pushing against that wind, it immediately raises questions. For material to travel a million kilometers toward the sun against solar wind pressure, those jets must be incredibly dense and powerful. Anti-tails jets pointing sunward are rare, but not impossible with natural comets. We've seen them before. In 1992, astronomers discovered comet shoemaker Levy 9, which had passed too close to Jupiter. The planet's immense gravity tore it into 21 separate fragments. When those pieces slammed into Jupiter in July 1994, each impact created explosions visible from Earth, leaving scars larger than our entire planet that remained visible for months. Another example comet Holmes, which in 2007 suddenly brightened dramatically and created a massive expanding cloud of material. Both of these were natural comets experiencing fragmentation events. And that's probably what we're witnessing with 3i Atlas right now. Comet breaking into many fragments, with each piece creating its own jet of gas and dust. But here's where everything gets genuinely weird. Avi Loeb calculated how much material these jets must be carrying away from 3i Atlas based on their size and brightness. His estimate? The object is losing approximately 50 billion tons of material every single month. Now, when objects travel through space, their trajectory is determined by their mass. By tracking how 3i Atlas moves and how the sun's gravity affects it, scientists calculated that this object weighs around 33 billion tons total. Let me state this clearly so there's no confusion. The estimated total mass is 33 billion tons. The calculated material loss per month is 50 billion tons. You would think an object cannot lose 50 billion tons if it only weighs 33 billion tons. The math literally doesn't work. But before you jump to exotic explanations, we've actually seen this exact scenario before. When Shoemaker Levy 9 broke apart near Jupiter, the total amount of material it released was significantly more than what scientists initially thought the original comet weighed. But this made perfect sense once they realized it had fragmented into multiple pieces. Here's why fragmentation explains the math problem. When the sun heats an icy object, the ice doesn't melt evenly. The side facing the sun gets intensely hot, while the shaded side stays extremely cold. These temperature differences create enormous stress inside the object, thermal stress that builds and builds until the structure literally fractures like glass under pressure. When you break something into smaller pieces, you suddenly have vastly more surface area exposed to sunlight. More surface area means more ice can sublimate to turn directly from solid to gas all at once. More sublimation means more gas shooting out in all directions. If 3i Atlas has shattered into hundreds or even thousands of pieces, this would perfectly explain both of the seven distinct jets observed on November 8th and the massive multi-million kilometer jets visible in the November 9th images. Each fragment is sublimating independently, creating its own jet. 
And all those jets combined would account for the enormous amount of material Avi Loeb is calculating. Now, here's the critical point as of right now. We don't have confirmation that 3i Atlas has actually broken apart. Amateur astronomers observing the object report, it still appears as a bright, solid mass rather than a fragmented debris field. If future observations definitively show that 3i Atlas remains in one intact piece while continuing to produce these massive jets and losing more mass than it weighs, that would be genuinely unprecedented. It would be the first object we've ever observed that doesn't fit established physical models. And that would require extraordinary evidence, because there's simply no way a solid object can lose more mass than it possesses. There's another peculiarity about 3i Atlas worth understanding. It's traveling in what astronomers call a retrograde orbit. Imagine looking down at our solar system from high above the North Pole. All the planets orbit counterclockwise around the Sun Earth, Mars, Jupiter, everything moves in the same direction. But 3i Atlas is traveling clockwise, moving opposite to literally everything else in our solar system. Only about 1-2% to of objects do this. Most things on retrograde orbits are small moons captured by planets long after the solar system formed. Finding a large interstellar comet on a retrograde path is statistically unusual, but not impossible for objects arriving from outside our solar system. Even stranger. The trajectory of 3i Atlas aligns almost perfectly with the ecliptic plane the flat disk, where all the planets orbit. Most objects arriving from interstellar space would approach from random directions, coming in at steep angles above or below this plane. But 3i Atlas came in nearly aligned with it. The probability of this happening by chance is approximately 0.2% a 1 in 500 occurrence. Now, have we seen unusual statistics like this before? Yes, with Oumuamua. That object also exhibited strange characteristics, an unusually elongated shape, peculiar brightness variations as it tumbled, and most puzzling. It accelerated slightly as it left the solar system in a way that was difficult to explain with normal comet outgassing. Avi Loeb famously wrote a book suggesting Oumuamua might not be natural, proposing it could be a light Salus, actually a giant solar panel pushed by radiation pressure. Most astronomers think Oumuamua was probably an oddly shaped comet made of hydrogen ice or nitrogen ice, which would explain the acceleration through natural sublimation. The debate continues. But there's a crucial difference. Oumuamua was tiny, maybe a few hundred feet long. 3i Atlas is enormous over a mile wide and weighing billions of tons. Finding something this massive on an unusual orbit naturally raises more questions. The fact that 3i Atlas is large and on a retrograde trajectory doesn't tell us much by itself. But combined with the apparent mass loss problem from the November 9th images, it makes this one of the most fascinating puzzles. Astronomers have studied in recent years. So, what's the disappointing truth? It's most likely that we're watching a completely natural process, an interstellar comet fragmenting as it encounters intense solar heating for possibly the first time in billions of years. The exotic explanation that it's artificial, that it's controlled, that it represents technology, require assumptions that aren't supported by the evidence we have. Does that mean it's not interesting? Absolutely not. Even as a natural object, I Atlas is remarkable. We're observing an interstellar visitor experiencing what might be its final moments after potentially billions of years traveling through the cold of deep space. The fact that we're here with the technology to observe and measure this event in real time is itself extraordinary. The jets we're seeing, millions of kilometers long, pushing against solar wind, appearing and evolving over days and weeks, represent physics playing out on a scale that challenges our instruments and our models. Whether the object has fragmented into a debris field or remains somehow intact while producing these enormous outflows, we're witnessing something that advances our understanding of how icy bodies behave under extreme conditions. And here's what makes science valuable. We don't need exotic explanations to be amazed. A comet from another star system, traveling for eons through interstellar space, arriving in our solar system and fragmenting in ways we can observe and study, that's genuinely spectacular without requiring it to be anything other than what it appears to be. The coming weeks will provide more data. Observations from professional observatories and amateur astronomers worldwide are continuing to track 3i Atlas as it moves away from the sun.
We'll learn whether the object has indeed fragmented or remains intact. We'll measure whether the mass loss continues at impossible rates or decreases as expected for a breaking comet. And we'll refine our models of how interstellar objects behave when they encounter stellar heating. If you want to follow this story as new observations come in, subscribe to this channel. I'll be covering updates with the same approach, focusing on what the data actually shows, not what makes the most sensational headline. Because in the end, understanding what's really happening, even when it's disappointing to those hoping for aliensis, far more valuable than speculation. So to answer the question I posed at the start, yes. The math appears broken, but the most likely explanation is that our initial mass estimate was wrong, that the object has fragmented, and that we're watching natural physics on an impressive scale. Not everything unusual in space needs to be extraordinary. Sometimes a comet is just a comet, even when it's putting on a spectacular show.